So how many of you are really excited about these ideas worth sharing that you're hearing today? Let's hear a yes. All right. And I'm really excited that these ideas worth sharing will be shared online, worldwide, for free after today. And it's because it's the right thing to do. Because knowledge belongs to everyone. Now, wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be really great if we could do that same thing with other knowledge? Share it online, worldwide, for free. For instance, the knowledge that's in here, in a textbook, a college textbook. Wouldn't it be great if we could do that because it would also be the right thing to do because knowledge belongs to... Everyone. Very good, thank you. Now, there are some problems with trying to share the knowledge in this textbook. And so what I'd like to do is talk with you a little bit about some possible ways I could share this with you, and then we'll look at these problems and see if we can solve them. So, there, it, I could share this with you in, in a couple different ways. I could simply give it to you. If I wanted to share this worldwide, that'd be a very slow process, wouldn't it? Because I can only share this with one person at a time. So one barrier is the fact that the knowledge is locked in this physical object. One other thing I could do is I could make photocopies. I could go copy this book and give each of you a copy. There's a problem there, and it's right here. It says, copyright, all rights reserved. So I can't do that, that would be illegal. So the only other way I could think of um, sharing this with you is saying, you need to go buy this book. You need to purchase it yourself. There are some problems here as well. When I was in college, the average cost of a textbook might have been around $40. Because of inflation, we might think that today that should cost about 80. But in reality, in the last 30 years, the cost of textbooks has gone up 550%. So that $40 textbook now costs $260. So cost is a real barrier. In the United States, seven out of 10 students say that at some point, they couldn't afford all of their textbooks. So what good is this knowledge even doing anyone? So cost is the barrier. So here are three barriers that we need to overcome if we really believe that knowledge belongs to... All right. It wasn't even on the screen that time. Nice job. <laughs> so here's the solution. Open textbooks. Open textbooks are textbooks just like this, but they have a few differences. Instead of being a physical object, they're electronic. So I could take this textbook and I could email it to you. Much easier to share than the one at a time physical object, right? Instead of a copyright, it's licensed with a Creative Commons license. A Creative Commons license allows you to do some special things. The copyright owner um, allows you with this license to copy the book, to make changes to the book if you want to even. You could translate it into another language. You could add chapters, you could remove things, add images, whatever you want. And this license allows you to share it with others and share it with others freely. So you can see that an open textbook solves all of these barriers. What we've done at the University of Minnesota in the College of Education and Human Development is we've taken these open textbooks. I should mention, these open textbooks already exist. There are hundreds of them out there, licensed in this way, electronically. What we've done is what we've taken and looked all across the internet, pulled those together, and made a catalog, and put them on this website in hopes of building this community around this idea of open textbooks. So anyone can come on here, search, they can um, review a textbook, they can read others' reviews that faculty have given. Uh, and in this way, we're trying to just make it much easier to adopt these textbooks. Since we've launched, um, less than five months ago actually, uh, we've had over 30,000 visits from people in 146 countries. It's been amazing. 
And this is the kind of response that we're hearing. This is the faculty member in Zimbabwe who recognizes how much potential there is if only they had access to this information, that knowledge that belongs to everyone. Thank you. So what can we do? What can you do? If you're a student, you can encourage you can encourage your instructors to look here, look for these open textbooks and see if there's an option that might work for them. There might be, there might not be. If you're a faculty member, if you're an instructor, explore this catalog, explore open textbooks and see if there's an option for you. And if you find something that works, adopt it. And if you're really ambitious, you can even author a textbook and share your knowledge with the world freely. The rest of us, the rest of us can advocate advocate to our educational institutions, advocate to our state governments, and really try to move this forward in a way that helps everyone because knowledge belongs to everyone. Thank you. Thank you.